Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. So I did a recent video where I was showing you how inside my composting bags look like and remember these are the bags that I use to collect the horse waste that is the horse poop and the horse poop is what I'm composting. I already spoke to you about the imbalance in carbon nitrogen ratio in the in the compost pile that I have inside all the bags. I, I spoke to you in the I said in the last video that I'm going to see if I can get some leaves or, or grass or anything like that to add some kind of nitrogen component to the to, to the bags to the compost compost uh, pile in the bags. But the truth is um I I can't get any such plant material. So I decided to to, to see what else I can find to add nitrogen to the compost pile, right? So I I know that animal manure, just like even the horse poop there, has nitrogen. But the thing is, the horse poop that that, that, that is there composting, it doesn't have a lot of nitrogen. The carbon the carbon is 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 way 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 too high. So what i've decided to do is um see if i can get some chicken manure because as you know chicken manure is is high in in nitrogen um it is high in nitrogen so i've planned to get some chicken manure and to to, to mix in each of those bags that you that you saw right so i'm going to mix in some chicken manure so what I'm going to do is basically visit my local nursery and pick up chicken manure to add to each of those bags with the R's poop composting. Some some chicken manure, some of them, are, like if you get the chicken litter straight out of the out of the coop, that is obviously higher in nitrogen content that, that, than the one that is composted. Right. Hello again. So I'm back in the car. Just went. I was just over by the, the nursery, and I only saw the, the 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 granular one, right? It is basically organic. I didn't see the the one that was composted, like. So it was the one that was composted. I I really had in mind to to put in 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 the in my compost pile in the bags. But un unfortunately, that one is finished. So, so what that lead me to? I sat down there for about thirty minutes thinking it through because, as I was saying to you, what if you don't have any greens? Because essentially, you have browns and you have greens. The browns provide the carbon for the compost pile and the greens provide the nitrogen. What if you don't have any greens? Obviously, if you put pure browns in your in your in your compost pile, it will be imbalanced. The CN ratio will be imbalanced and there would be a lot of carbon but, but but not enough nitrogen. No, but what if you cannot get any greens? Any kitchen peelings, any grass clipping, leaves, this, that, that. What if you can't get that? How then will your compost pile um, get the nitrogen it needs to break down whatever other plant matter you put in it? Where would you get that? How would you provide the nitrogen? That was what I was thinking about. That is the question I was asking myself. I cannot find any grass clippings and these kind of things to add nitrogen to the compost pile. So what else can I do? And then it dawned to me that I need, I, you have to remember that essentially it is the nutrient that the microorganism is basically extracting out of whatever you put in it. Right, so when you put the when you put the greens, whatever 
grass clippings or leaves or whatever you're putting in it to add nitrogen the microorganism breaks down that and it, it extracts some of the nitrogen to basically energize itself and keep itself going to continue breaking down material so if you can add nitrogen in other ways right that would be good for your compost pile if you cannot find any leaves and, and grass and so on so i thought about using the 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 um the granular chicken manure it is organic to, to add the, the the nitrogen because what this is going to do is of course when it is when it is when water is added to it it will it will um release it will be it, 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 it will it will basically dissolve and release the, the nitrogen within the compost pile and then the microorganisms can use it so that is basically the route i'm taking i i i'm never really I, i'm not seeing where it, it's like what i'm doing now is kind of not um it is kind of not what i would say it is not the norm you know sometimes you are everybody do the same thing right everybody do the same thing and you feel like if you do something else you are wrong but if you understand what is happening within the compost pile you can see that there are there are many there are many rules that can be broken when when dealing with compost pile because as i'm discussing this with you now i'm sure if you are going to make a compost pile you are not going to use like this this is what i well this is the first time i'm going to use even this granular chicken manure and they say it's organic right so i'm sure you wouldn't buy this to put in your in your in your in your compost pile to to um to add nitrogen you would more try to find your kitchen peelings your grass clippings your green leaves and so on that is what you would you do because this is what everybody this is what everybody is is this is what everybody is doing right but i i am not really seeing anybody doing it this way that i am talking about right um so it's basically my first time doing it but i'm just sitting here and just reasoning with you right i'm just reasoning with you because i am going to do it i have i have i have one bag right i have one bag i bought one bag it's in the it's in the trunk and i'm going to use that one bag and i'm going to share it amongst the 12 bags there right um what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a little bit more than I'm going to add a little bit more than what they recommend to put in the soil right because essentially we do we are not planting we are not planting in it we are basically providing nitrogen for the microorganisms and the macroorganisms to work right but at the same time as i said earlier i'm still mindful of the fact that we don't want to build up any toxicity within the compost pile but but i think the reasoning is 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 um makes what i'm going to do um it justifies what i'm going to do right um and then again even when you go online to read you'll find you'll find most of the things you find you'll find them talking about doing the making your compost by the, 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 the traditional way and that is using all plant matter to really provide whatever condition within the compost pile now um you know it is it's just it's this is this is <laughs> this is just me kind of brainstorming and thinking you know because obviously there is organic and there is inorganic and obviously and i'm sure many of us planters have been through this we use both organic and inorganic in one mix in one and if you know how to manage it it can be beneficial because when you are when you are planting when you are planting your plants you you might have a, a, a your soil and you put some 
animal manure there and you know yes you are organic but some some time down down the line you decide to add some urea some synthetic urea maybe to add some additional nitrogen and that is basically inorganic right that is basically inorganic but it still works as i said you just have to be mindful of the any salt build up or any toxicity so to me I believe it's the same thing with a compost pile a compost pile is meant to be like organic because it's all plant 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 based materials and you want it to break down on a, from a biological point of view on a natural 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 process but the truth is the microorganisms need the nutrients so they need the nitrogen so if you don't have anything supplying the nitrogen to them then you'll your compost pile will not be composted properly so you know if you can, can find other organic ways like this organic chicken manure that I find to add to add um, nitrogen to your pile that would be good because essentially you are adding the nitrogen the nutrient right to the compost pile so this is just my reasoning and I'm going to try it Right, I'm going to try it. So let us see what happens. Let us see what happens when I try it. I don't know, maybe I'm going to be the first on YouTube to do it. I'm not sure. Right? So let, let us see what happens. Because I mean it is like this it, it is the same thing like adding like like you're adding um, synthetic fertilizer to, to a growing medium so say for example this compost pile that I have here in the bag now it is say, 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 I, say it is composted and, I'm, and I've planted a plant in it right I can add synthetic fertilizer to it if I want and what will happen this will release nutrients the plant will take up some of the nutrients and the microorganisms will take up some also the only difference with this compost pile now is that there, there are no plants growing in it. So the only ones who are taking up the nutrients would be the microorganisms. And the microorganisms will be taking up the nutrients in order to, 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 um, to continue their development and to, 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 to help to give them energy to break down the material within the compost pile. So I hope you understand what I'm saying. You know, and um, when you understand some basic processes, processes these are the things that you, you, you are able to understand and able to tweak. So, um, I'm going to upload this video as is now, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, do another video, and show you when I'm putting in the PVC within the within the box and also um, adding the, 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 the organic chicken manure to the compost pile because I need to see this also I need to see what is going to happen right I need to see what is going to happen so as, as always please leave any questions or comments in the comments area and um, remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll, I'll see you again. I'll see you again shortly.